happy I'm on Chai's channel, man. I'm happy that not everyone is the same, so. Yeah, that's it. And yeah. of course, Chai, I like cheap living. How do you stay sane? I can spend more here if I wanted to. Would you rather not? Yeah. And why is that? Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. We are in the north of Thailand in the city of Chiang Mai. And today we have a special guest. His name is Wayne from Walkabout Wayne. He's famous for living a modest life. Some call it cheap but he looks very content with himself. So in this video, there's gonna be two guys having a little chat about life, about life in Chiang Mai, living a modest life. And we picked some beautiful locations for you. Let's meet Wayne at our first location. It's gonna be at Hoi Kiao Waterfall. I'm on Choi's channel, man. How's it going? Yeah, good. Walk yeah. about Wayne. Nice to meet you all. And it's good to be on Choi's channel. You've been on my radar and I've been following you a little yes, bit. And yes. I thought it only makes sense to meet you here in Chiang Mai. Oh, of course. We are at uh, Hoi Kiao. Hoi Kiao Waterfall. That's the yeah. one. And I'm with Chai, man. Can we, you believe it? We're gonna we're gonna chat a little bit, walk and talk yeah, with you. We're gonna have a walk around, yeah. didn't we? And few see what happens. Few locations. We're gonna have a coffee, yeah. maybe some lunch, and we're gonna do it a little bit, um, a little bit cheap, if I can say. Like yeah, we're gonna talk about living cheap in Chiang Mai, right? Living cheap in Chiang Mai and the value of of not having a lot of money, I yeah, think, sure. or not spending a lot of money. Yeah. You've been here, right? This is my first time. Last time we went here with the channel, this one was still closed, so. Yeah, so this is this your first is... time here? Yeah, very, wow. very first time. Was, even years ago, I was only interested in partying, and now I'm oh, like I thought you'd exploring. been here at least once before. No, no. Ah, right. So what's that then? This is a restaurant, oh, a right. coffee shop, and um, it's where the shops are. You know, when yeah. we walked out past them shops, there's a small restaurant down the bottom, but I never go there. Nah. Because it's just, you know, you run of the mill sort of restaurant. A restaurant like this, it's like 300, 400 baht sometimes per meal. Yeah. Are you still, do you still do that sometimes? Or are you just like, no, I, I'm avoiding these places? No, I still do that sometimes. Yeah? At the end of the month, whatever I've got left, what I budget, yeah. I will spend out. Like this month, I've brought a new mic off of a friend, yeah. 1,000 baht. And I always structure my month and what I've got left at the end. Yeah. I'll just spend it if I've got stuff left at the end. Yeah, I'm really interested. You, you've you been living for years now, right? This, this is your, your third year or something? Three years Three this years. time. So I'm thinking, I'm curious, and I'm sure a few people here watching as well, mm. that how do you stay sane? Because a lot of people <laughs> coming here to Thailand and you go after a while, you go a bit mad. Sure. Not everyone, like there's, there's more people not going mad, but how do you stay sane? Let's talk about this later. I'm actually, okay. I actually like to take us to a coffee shop Okay. On top of Doi Sutet. And we'll sit down and have a chat about yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah, cool. uh, maybe we, we're not going to visit this temple <laughs> this time. Maybe no. we're just going to visit the coffee. You know where a, a coffee shop is, right? Yeah, there's one up there. Nothing special. It's unless you keep going up further, but... Is it going to be expensive? Nah, you know me. You with <laughs> the king of cheap Charlies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim, let's go. Not even halfway to Doi Setep, we are having this beautiful, incredible view, mate, for, yeah. for free. What more do you want, eh? Hey. This is Chiang Mai at its finest. It's so flat in the yeah. city. People come here and just think Doi Setep, then it's all just straight. Yeah, right. Doi Saket. Yeah. Doi Saket is on the other side. No one is buying all that, not yeah. even there. Like, this is just the start of the mountain range. Yeah, that's right. And like, all that to explore really crazy, yeah. innit? You could all the people living up in these mountains and yeah. tribes still out there i would have thought oh yeah 100 oh, yeah. 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 yeah yeah maybe not so primitive anymore because the kingdom also is taking care of the tribes at the moment yeah so, yeah. yeah sure there's still people living up there yeah yeah there is uh, also a possibility maybe to get a coconut but maybe oh we come back oh yeah, yeah. come back but <laughs> thank you cup let me pick up the bag. Oh, did you forget it, uh, really? No, 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 oh. no, no. No, I, I'm feeling naked without my backpack, so yeah. I always remember yeah. to bring it with me. Only once when I was really drunk with Tyrus Time, I, uh, yeah. I forgot it. You always it. take your bag, don't you? I suppose because oh, yeah. you've got um, I've got the gear on me, yeah. yeah. And I feel like I'm, I'm on the road, so. Yeah. But hey, normally there's a lady standing here. Yeah, there used to be a <sighs> lady. I think we're going to have to go up further, Yeah, mate, let's, to get uh, a drink. let's go up further yeah, and get a drink. Will. Go up to the top and Woo. rendezvous up there. Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> We're at Bubbing Palace, actually just outside of Bubbing Palace. We might as well take you there. It was a bit of a surprise. I've been here a few times, never made it to the palace. So that's good yeah. that we have you here on the show. Been there one time. Hey, I'm just uh, thinking for the people that don't know you. Yeah. Who's Wayne? Um, yeah, I'm just Wayne. 
from England. Yeah. I've uh, been in Chiang Mai for three years. Yeah. As you know, but the people don't know. Maybe some of them have seen my channel. So you told me that you have been traveling as well in South Asia without the camera, really, before sure. before YouTube. And I mean, now I just stay in one place, but yeah. in my younger days, I probably moved around a bit more. Yeah. I'm no interested in vlogging then, mate. No. Nah. Why did you start at vlogging? Just come here, watch Kevin Thailand and people like Brett Dev in, in Chiang Mai. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I like um, Brett Dev. Yeah. yeah, I thought I had a chance to buy a cheap GoPro, so, you know. Yeah as you do yeah then i just started doing it and they were rubbish anybody that how, how long uh, i didn't follow you from the very very beginning when, no. did, you, when did you actually start when, which, when did you do your very first upload it was april 2020 yeah i might be wrong it might be a couple months before okay but it's around that time yeah cup, cup, cup. Cup. thank you um yeah even i don't know when i started it's, it was around april yeah march april yeah i'm sure the burning season of 2020 oh yeah yeah was yeah. it was it a bad one 2020 that... was it was bad but short yeah. if i remember you told me uh, you were an introvert yeah yeah you don't you, know, you wouldn't say yeah i was that's yeah. why I, I just said um youtube has helped me probably yeah with you yeah i'm out with we met through youtube yeah. And yeah, before yeah. I would just probably be in my room. I, I can't remember what I was doing before YouTube. <laughs> you know, I would watch YouTube all day long. Not all day long, but I would watch YouTube. Yeah, but I still do. Like I think, I, I think it's very normal to either way learn from from YouTube or uh, you know, especially with with travel vlogs. And I hear that oh yeah, I'm watching like even me if I'm going to the Philippines. Yeah. What's out there? I Google sure. it and I YouTube it, yeah. you know? That's yeah. that's what I do. Same with me. So, yeah. Anything you need now is always YouTube. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not even Google first. And me. there is it's a community because there's people subscribing to the channel, coming back again, commenting again. So this is also making people getting involved and all that. So you're creating a, a little yeah, yeah. community around your channel, I think. Yeah, I'm probably a little bit different from Chai, but we are we're similar. But, but the mindset, I think the mindset is very similar. We, we are different vloggers, but the mindset about and this is what the topic is about, that living a very modest life sure. and be very happy. Are you, are you happy? Are you content? Because you look very content in life. Yeah, I'm happy. Would I say I'm happy every day and never get down? No, that would be a lie. Yeah. But everybody gets down days. Yeah. Um, no, I sh de definitely, yeah. yeah. Do you show them on your channel if you have a down day? Oh, sure. I, yeah. say, I say the good points and the bad points yeah. about Chiang Mai. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't. Yeah. A lot of vloggers. Yeah. I, I never everyone to their own but well i, I have chosen like I've, i'm a happy person anyway in general but i've chosen to show so people know what they get they they have catch a happy vibe sure so i don't show too much yeah of the the negative uh, of days or whatever but of course i i'm not hiding behind them i'm not saying no. i don't have them but i'm choosing to and maybe that changes in a way in a later stadium uh, yeah, of, that's of coming the year, back maybe. to different styles of vlogging yeah i mean <laughs> Nobody really wants to see a negative vlog, do they? In yeah. Thailand, but I don't know. Yeah, some people do. I I, uh, I take Paddy Doyle, my, my mate. Actually, he's he's uh, also vlogging about his down 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 yeah. days, and yeah. also people love that because that's a different reality. It's sure. a different kind of you know, and learning from that as well. That's yeah. also very important. I think that's out yeah. there. And yeah. my channel is not really just about Thailand. Yeah. I mean, some of these other vloggers you've mentioned are probably the same. It's about it's about them as well and my life here. Yeah. Some people say like, oh, it should be. A, would would my channel be have the subscribers if I wasn't here? Probably not. Mm -mm. But Thailand is not a hundred percent my channel. It's about me in Thailand. Yeah. If you get my drift. Yeah. That's not being yeah. like big headed or nothing. It's not about me. But it's just about my life. Yeah, whether it's somewhere like this yeah. or just walking around Chiang Mai, you mm. know. I'm going to check out the palace, have a little walk about there. It's nice in there, good and, grounds. Um, mm. And then we uh, probably head down, have a little yeah, snack. We'll head down. Maybe sure. at the university night market if there's already something happening there, okay. something like that. Plans change a little bit. We're standing in front of the palace and it uh, turned out that we can't go in filming. You can take pictures there. So we're not going to do that. We don't want to get in trouble. We don't yeah, want to you know do something illegal especially yeah. not when it comes to royal families and all that so sure. uh don't let, let's don't get in trouble let's no. i got we, even got, filming here 
Maybe. <laughs> no, we yeah. should be okay. Hey, I've got um. No, oh, this should be fine. This should yeah, be fine. Yeah. No, we're just outside. I, I know if we drive maybe 10 minutes further up the hill, there's a beautiful... Do we there's Do we a, yeah, there's yeah. a beautiful viewpoint there. Yeah, the top. Do you let's, want to go up there? Let's go out there and... Um, there? Let's do it. <laughs> We've been here now a minute or so, and it's already uh, doing something with your... Suvin. Suvin, is the it? City, the city's great, isn't it? The city's great living oh, yeah. in it, but it can get a bit noisy sometimes, and coming up here, yeah. just dead quiet, and... We also just, at, at some stage, we were quiet and observing... Yeah. The, the beauty but also the, the the mightiness or something i don't know if yeah. i feel quite small here yeah well it's just outstanding right somewhere um, like this just makes you think where you are because sometimes you forget yeah when you're down in the city yeah you take it for granted a little bit and then you come up here and you actually think wow man I'm in Thailand, <laughs> you know. So wait, why, why don't you live? Because I'm a big fan. Everyone that has subscribed to Chai Travels channel, uh, they they know that I really love the north of Thailand. I prefer yes. that than the south of Thailand. I do love the south of Thailand as well. Don't get me wrong. But why are you living here? Why are you based in the north? The same, same as you, really. I just I love the quiet living. Um, down the south is too much like Spain. I don't know if you've ever been to Spain oh, yeah. or something. It just reminds me of Europe, the south of oh, Thailand. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe it doesn't to other people. Just people walking around in budgie smugglers and, you know, swimming trunks, tops off. I prefer the north. Yeah. More, how can I say, more, just more village style living and more peace. Yeah. I like quiet living. Um, you never see me in bars. You never see me out going crazy and yeah hold, hold up i want to have a beer after this uh, sure, filming, yeah. so i love a beer yeah? i'm english <laughs> <laughs> brought up on beer <laughs> okay but, um yeah what? the north i think because i'm from the beach yeah. in england as well i sort of don't miss it if that sounds crazy some people would say if they're from the beach they would miss it and they need it but well, I, I lived in, I lived for 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 about eight months in total, and uh, Pulau Kapas. It's in Malaysia. It's a very small island, oh, one by two. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's uh, Malaysia is in general a beautiful country, I think. Yeah. But but there are some some islands uh, very tropical, and uh, at the moment I was there. Now it's yeah. changed a bit, a little bit. But it was I was missing at some stage. I was missing the beach here also. I do need sometimes my dose doses yeah. of. Of, of beach yeah, or time. Yeah, see that in you. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. you have to take off to yeah, the beach. Yeah, yeah. I, I do like Phuket. Actually, Phuket started growing on me as well. Yeah. Different parts of Phuket. Um, yeah, this, it's a question I get asked a lot. Why, why, why don't you miss the beach? I and reckon you should go. Like, I know, I, I, I think I know you a little bit but yeah. by following your channel. And I don't think Phuket is anything li like you. I think you like Koh Chang. Yeah. Have you been to Koh Chang? No, but I know exactly what you're saying. Phuket would be totally not me. No. I've never been there and I just know that for a fact. <laughs> well, no, no, but you have to. No, then, you have to say, and then I have to say I have to defend Phuket a little bit. Oh, sure, I'm not but saying... Because um, Phuket also, I had the same feeling with you because I, I have been there before and I was partying in my early 20s. And I was like, no, I don't like, but it has different elements to it yeah, as sure. well, like the different parts of Phuket. Yeah, it's a huge island. I take that, yeah, I take that back. I said it a bit <laughs> tongue in cheek where I've yeah, never yeah. been there. You can't say something without I know, being I know, there. I know. But, you know, I've watched a million videos on Phuket yeah. and places, and wherever there's a beach and just full of people and full of. I'm a Farang, but I, I don't really like too many Farangs around me. Okay. I like peace, like this is ideal for me. I always <laughs> say in my vlogs, I could live. Give me a house up there with a shop, yeah. and I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget the shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Seven <laughs> Eleven. Of course, I yeah. would get bought after a week. I probably yeah. would want to come back to the city. But I lived in Chiang Rai before, yeah. and Chiang Rai is piss boring, um, and I loved it. I'm not this in the south. I will go oh, to yeah. the south. Yeah, like I would love to go to the south. Hopefully, I will go to Koh Samui soon or something. Yeah, I've just never been down there, and yeah, 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 it's yeah, never yeah, been yeah. for me. Aye. And yeah, what was the, what did you say after again? I just wanted to say that that no, no, nothing no. against the south. Yeah, just no, definitely. I, I, but I know you. That's why I also. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I, I think just love the chilled out north, really. Yeah. But like you said, if I went down there, I would probably. Love no, but it. That's, that, well, but this is the thing that I'm saying, and I, I think people do understand that 
we, we don't judge or we don't uh, you also don't think the south is wrong or whatever it's not your mm -hmm. cup of tea maybe that much yeah and that's 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 all good like it doesn't have to be like i'm, I'm happy that not everyone is the same so yeah that's it and yeah. of course chai i like cheap living and there's nowhere yeah. cheaper than the north really, there's nowhere so. cheaper than the north of thailand yeah. in thailand yeah, yeah. A lot of subscribers will be saying wayne that's the real reason you're not down south because <laughs> yeah. you're gonna have to spend yeah bat. yeah yeah <laughs> it, it's sometimes actually two times more expensive yeah, in sure. the south than sure. in the north so yeah um, but then again you're gonna have to check it out both i think if you're oh, coming in for a holiday especially oh, sure I mean, um, I went to Da Nang and I've been to the Philippines and oh yeah. I love the beach there. So Mate, we're going, I'm taking this channel to the Philippines uh, for several weeks. It's so it's going to be exclusive with me. You're telling them uh, or they already I've, know. I've, 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 I have been already telling uh, uh, already a little know. bit here and there, slip it in. <laughs> Mate, look at that. It's going to, it's yeah, going to rain. It's going to tip down. So, so we're not, we don't want to, we no, don't want to. We will get down in a bit and get a drink or get a snack That's or right. something. That's right. Yeah. So we're going to touch back down in Chiang Mai city, baby. Let's go. We almost went to the university night market and then Wayne was talking about another place, a new food court or a kind of a new food court, new food court to me anyway. Taking him to a new place. <laughs> a new place, yes. A food court on the property of the University of Chiang Mai. Yeah, and, a lot of uh, people don't know this one's here. They no. know the old one, but not and this new one. Like outsiders are also welcome and the food is a reasonable Cheap. price. Mm. Cheap. Yep. So that's why we're here. I heard about a bolognese. Yeah, cheap bolognese. Cheap bolognese. I've been talking to you about. I think it's like 35 baht for... Yeah, 35 baht. A Don't bolognese. be expecting some Italian master bolognese. It's no. just... Yeah. yeah it's just uh, I, I don't expect bolognese. anything. But in the concept of being cheap, uh, we are talking about this for a reason. Uh, that comes uh, the message behind uh, why we are so cheap or why uh, yeah. you're living a, such a modest life. We're gonna... Sure. Um, yeah, we're gonna find it out in a later stage of this episode almost at the end we're nearly there anyway yeah we've had a but, good day um, so far right 100 happy we man and we didn't end up uh being riding in the rain or no, driving in the no, rain it never rained did it ah. they knew we, was, we had a vlog to finish so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the heavens kept the off gods, for a bit the gods are with us let's <laughs> yeah. go inside of the of the so, canteen it's a really clean place as you can see it's it's got the clean, tidy place. It's got the Dairy Queen there. Yeah. I think that's one is the busiest at the moment. Yeah, the Thai's like the ice cream. <laughs> yeah. We might have one as well because I yeah, think we for like uh, 15 baht you got a little ice cream. 35 baht. You need food wrong. champ. Yeah. This looks pretty good, eh? Yeah, it's not the greatest. Let's find a place upstairs. Yep. There must be some, some uh, terrace where we can sit. If it tastes well as well, then uh, we are winning. How do you stay sane <laughs> in Chiang Mai yeah. for such a long time? The YouTube helped. Um, I think going to the gym and getting out a bit, you know, you've got to exercise is key for me, I think. Probably going a bit stale in Chiang Mai. Why is that? Three years, three years in one place. It's a great city. I love this city, mm -hmm. but you know, wow. your mind's always wanting to go somewhere else. Same with you when you go traveling, right? Yeah, you it's get a bit bored of Chiang Mai and you want to go to the coast again. Yeah. Um, but coming back to what you said, yeah, I do have down days here. Mm -hmm. Have down days. Um, so on these down days, how do you, how do you keep yourself sane? Because a lot of people here they go hit the bars, yeah. get drunk. If you start doing that. It doesn't last long. It can be fun, no judgment at all, but it can be. Yeah. It's, it can drain a person. Oh sure, yeah. I wouldn't be here still if I was doing that. Mm -hmm. I would be in a right mess. The reason why I come here is to get away from the clubbing and the partying and the drinking. And okay. don't get me wrong, I love a pint. I love a good pint of Leo. And the trouble is with me, if I did go to the bar drinking, I probably wouldn't be able to stop. Mm -hmm. I would probably love it and end up spending a fortune and having a right good time. <laughs> why are you living such a modest life? And why do I think you're quite happy and content with yourself and with what you're doing? Um, I've always been like that, always. I can't really say I've changed to be this way in mm -hmm. Thailand. I've been the same in England. I've shopped in all the saver aisles in the supermarkets. Oh, yeah? I can't really explain why. I'm just an average guy 
that was on minimum wage in in the UK yeah saving money um, yeah I've got more than what I've spent here just yeah. say that I can I can spend not a lot more here but I can spend more here if I wanted to but you'd rather not yeah and why is that because I'm just I never like spending money I always yeah. think in my vlogs I say I never think about tomorrow but you know we got a saying in England if if you look after your money your money will look after you okay so you know I'm, I'm always thinking well I'm, what I'm doing is right what I think because I'm, I'm living this life and I've been here for three years so for me that's telling me you're doing it right yeah I'm doing so I think as well that uh, that um, and that's ho also how I travel I never really go to expensive places uh, like e eating out expensive or going to expensive hotels you can tell me call me a, a tight guy or a, like a tight cheap ass Charlie. cheap Charlie <laughs> yeah yeah cheap chai um, no you're just clever mate I'm always seeking knowledge and, uh, and wisdom and other people so we come to that as well but I think the message is like money a lot of money doesn't make you necessarily happy and you are one of the examples of that because you're living mos modest but you're not unhappy <laughs> you're actually really happy that no you're i'm living. happy yeah i'm happy here yeah. yeah yeah i wouldn't be here if i if i wasn't happy i, yeah. I would go home but, um yeah my life's great here when people say must be horrible way I, mm -hmm. I totally don't know what they mean but um not everybody's the same i can understand somebody would hate living my life somebody yeah. would hate it everybody's different um I mean, I, I could spend less and still be happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. could probably do a couple hundred dollars less. Yeah. And it wouldn't wouldn't affect me. People that watch the channel, they don't see that. They just think you're a cheap Charlie living in Thailand. Probably you get the same, I don't know. Well, I'm, uh, I'm moving around a little bit more, obviously, but... Um, mm. So it looks okay. like you've got more money when you're moving around. Yeah, it does look like you have more mm. money, but I'm never are rarely showing my accommodation <laughs> because some of the accommodation you don't want to see because I'm thinking the the longer I make my money last, yeah. the, the the chances are making the chance bigger of me uh, being self sustainable on YouTube. Sure. Um, actually, I want to do just uh, before we finish and before I've got a few more questions, but I want to do a special shout out to Deborah uh, because she just became a member, joined the channel. This is possible now already since a while we have a small core of members and this is making the channel accomplish its goals and that is uh, being sustainable and keep traveling around the world we're in the north of thailand settled down for the next six months so we're going to be in and around the north of thailand do you have some uh, wisdom to pass on or a message to the world be who you want to be don't let anybody influence where you go what you spend who you're with anything you will always get people telling you what to do, what to spend. You know, just the older I've got, I've learned to be your own man, be happy with your decisions, yeah. whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. I think the whole world is, people tell people what to do all the time and you think you have to do what people say, especially with YouTube, you know, it's, it gets highlighted, people, try telling you what to do and yeah yeah I want to keep this short just to, just be you be just you. be you man be you <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say thanks to Chai really I've had a great day and we've met before briefly I've probably said in earlier in the vlog but yeah, it's just been great doing a doing a vlog together we're both similar and I wish his channel all the best and he's got a great thanks. channel his interviews yeah so. well thanks champ thanks also for for being part of the show today uh, we're gonna have to check out wayne walk about wayne his name uh, or the channel's name is really cool down really down to earth uh, what you Thank see you. is what you get really i uh, enjoyed your company i would like to say from the north of thailand at the university of chiang mai bye for now and stay champ stay champ <laughs>